everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Charlene and welcome today I'm going to be doing a June favorites now there is a lot of makeup which normally is supposed to which normally I do a lot in this channel but I'm gonna start off with some hair care first because I absolutely love this hair care okay. so my first favorite is the Batiste 2-in-1 invisible dry shampoo and conditioner 18 hour condition and it's vanilla and patch flower Oh my god, this smells absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This is really, really good. Basically, it's a two-in-one. It has shampoo and conditioner. Basically, you, when you put it on, you shake the can, leave it around that, uh, that way. But you're supposed to go from the root down to the end and just spray down there. You don't have to do that. You can literally just shake it, spray it in. But you have to go from root to tip. You know when it comes to, like, when your hair gets greasy, my hair when it gets greasy, it goes from greasy to the ends of dry. That's how my hair goes to. I don't really like it. But since I've been using this, I haven't had that problem. I do use this on two-day hair as well because I find it works best with two-day hair. I do love the normal Batiste range, which I do want to go back to, just the dry shampoo. Because I sometimes, this is what I'm going to be using just for like special occasions or anything. This is something that I do not like to use every day. The dry, the dry shampoo, the Batiste normal range, I probably would use every day. But I love this. If you haven't used this, I do recommend it. There are two flavours. And there's an orange one and something. And But this is vanilla and fruit. This smells gorgeous, guys. I cannot explain how good this smells. This is the deodorant that I've been using. It is a Go Dove Go Fresh one, just right here. And I absolutely love it. It's, it is pear and aloe vera scent. Oh, my God. Oh, my Oh, wow. This smells so, so gorgeous. I have been putting this on. I bought this in, like, June or something like that. I know it's still June, but I... I know I bought this in June, but I cannot. I have to put this on because this is a bloody good product. I absolutely love this product. I... Throughout the day, you smell like pear. When you swear, it smells like pear. It's got, it sounds... It may sound a little TMI, but it actually is. Because when I put this on, I squirt a few bits and done. And then throughout the day, I have my husband or my friends or me smelling like I'm smelling my pear. My husband's like, oh, you smell really nice. What is that? And I say, it's pear. Even his room is like, what's that smell? I said, it's my deodorant. He goes, what is that? I said, it's pear. He goes, yeah, I can all smell that. And it smells really, really good. Because we had a big, big splurge of heat wave. The heat wave no longer here. It's just very, very humidity now. There's no more sunshine at the minute. But when it was really hot, you used to sweat a lot. And I put this on in the morning and then basically go out and then uh, I'd get home about three o'clock and I still smell a pear but I'd always touch up just in case it's something that I have I'm like oh my god I hope I smell a pear and not sweat but I absolutely love this so if you want a new one that a new deodorant that smells really good that smells like aloe vera and pear try the go fresh one dove and it is new and it's gorgeous so the next favourite is a setting spray. Now I have gone back and forth with setting spray. I love the Urban Decay setting spray, as you know. But I have been actually using the Dewey setting spray, the Dewey Finish setting spray, and I love this. I've got it on today. And I love this so, so much. It is really, really nice. But it does last all day. What I do, and I've always done this, I spray my face and then I fan my face. It will last for longer, and that actually does work. I've done it for loads and loads of times as i've played my makeup i've always sprayed and then fanned just because i know that's works best for me but this is really good i absolutely love it it does create a dewiness effect it doesn't come out so so dewy but it comes a little bit dewy so i do love that as well so if you're looking for a new setting spray try this one out i believe this is uh retail for about around five to nine pound it's not that expensive so the next favorite is a blush i wore this blush on my wedding day this is called racy rose by revlon it is such a beautiful colour it is. I've got it on my cheeks today. It is such a beautiful colour. It is beautiful. It, it's just right there. It is a beautiful colour. I absolutely love the colour. It is on my cheeks today and it gives you the perfect flush of rosiness to your cheeks. I'm a bit red rosy myself when it comes to my cheeks but this is just the one for me. It has a little bit of shimmer in there, but not too much. But the colour pigment payoff is beautiful. So the next favourite of mine is basically a, a concealer. Now, I've said about this constantly, and it's still my favourite one to this day. It's 
is lovely and it is a, a naked skin urban decay i did try the other one um well, i'll just show you i did try this one i'm not a big fan of this one this is the an instant anti-age of the eye eraser the perfect cover concealer or goji berry and something else i do like this one but not as much as this one for underneath my eyes because it gives you that nice that nice one underneath your eyes just really makes your eyes and dry just a little pop and it hides my dark circle so beautifully it's really good i do use it for all over the skin as well because i think that is just really really good to use a bit over the skin to get rid of some blemishes which i actually do really do love that i love the fact that you can cover this with anything it is so full full coverage it is really really good and it's just um urban decay naked skin weightless complete coverage concealer you need to get some more of this because i am running out i've been using it so much so my next favorite is a eye under eye powder and i only use this for under eye this is laura mercier translucent setting powder and as you can see it just is in a little tub like this i absolutely love this for underneath the eyes i used to put it over my face and then found out that i used to dry some of my skin out it wasn't very good but I love this for underneath my eyes. It leaves it so soft. It leaves it so nice and soft. And it's, I just love it for underneath the eye. If you're oily, I'd recommend this to just put in right there, right there, like in the T-zone and underneath your eye to combat your oiliness. If you're looking for what I do use, this is what I use, the Laura Mercier. It's an expensive brand. This is a high-end brand, but it, it, it works better than any other one I've ever used. So the next one is a foundation. This is High Street and I love this so much. It is by Bourjois Paris and it's a healthy mixed foundation. I love this so, so much. I had this, I don't know if you remember, I think it was last year. I kept saying it in my favourites. I love this. I've gone back to this. I didn't use it for a while because I've basically run out. So I ended up experimenting with different foundations. Some foundations that I did love, some foundations that I didn't. I do love the Better Than Skin from Maybelline. But I've gone back to this and this is rings them all over. I love this. It's not as full coverage. It gives you a medium coverage finish. But if you, it can be built up. But don't build it up too much. You can get a little, little bit of cakiness when you build it up. So I only build it up with my problematic areas, which I do have. And then it doesn't go, it doesn't appear so cakey. But this is really, really good. It's with a vit uh, vitamin mix. It smells gorgeous. I am in the shade number 51, which is Vanilla Eclair, which is light vanilla. And I absolutely love this one for my face. I've got it on today on my face and I absolutely love it. So the next favourite of mine is a face powder. I went away with this face powder, used, used the Laura Mercier, used so many other face powder. Went back to this. The Stay Matte Rimmel Powder Stay Matte. I absolutely love it. It is a translucent colour. I have it on today. I don't put that much of it on because I believe that my skin doesn't need it that uh, on that much. But this is beautiful. I love it. It's in a little like crown like one. And it's and I got the one 001 transparent. I you have to be careful. If you drop this on a high plot, it will smash. That is the only thing I don't like. So I'm being very careful with this. I put this in my drawer, I leave it there, and then when I take it out of my drawer, I use it. I would go away on holiday with this. I just keep it in my makeup bag, and I love this. I've used a good portion of it already. That is how much I love it. This is a really good drugstore powder. If you're looking for one that's not that bad, this is brilliant. This is this is what i love and i love it so much it is my phone that i love i love this is the iphone 7 not the 7 plus just the iphone 7 one is a thing yeah more smaller phone do love the smaller phone i do want to get the iphone 7 plus but i just got the iphone 7 and i still love it but um i love my phone i've been using my phone constantly it's in a matte black it has already a case on it i decided to get matte black because with the jet black it basically scratches very easily it shows loads of fingerprints, so if you ever want to get the jet black, I really wouldn't because it shows the scratches, it shows up everything, and it shows up very fingerprints, very obviously. The matte black is a nice matte black, and I absolutely love it. It has got a case on there, and I have got that as well. I just had a picture of my nan on the front um, on my wedding day, but I absolutely love this phone so much. Then I've been playing a game. Now the game that I've been playing is Pokemon, everyone knows that. 
And then the other game I've been playing is Best Finds. Now, I'm not sponsored by them. Don't worry, this is not a sponsored video. I basically was looking for... I had this on my phone before, then got away from it. Then I was looking through my... Um, my games, what I used to have, and Best Finds were on there, so I decided to give it a go. I love Best Finds so, so much. Let me just, um, there it is, Best Finds, and I love it so much. It is really, really, really good. Um, I do love it. I'm in level 35. I've been playing it non-stop, and I decided to give it another go. I still love this. This is the game that I really wanted to play. Really loved it so, so much. It's very challenging because you have to connect the colours, but you have to get the right amount of colours. And it only gives you a certain amount of moves as well. So you could be do it. You have to it give you objectives, like you have to break open two boxes, get a diamond, or collect a certain number of berries, or defeat as many slugs as you can. Or there's one where there's coloured slugs where you have to match the colour berry to the coloured slugs to get it down quicker. It's just everything like that which I love and I find it's very challenging that it's a very good game. Upgrade your insects, you can get more insects. That is what I love about it. So yeah, I'm sorry if I'm rambling about best friends but I absolutely love it. The next thing I'm actually loving is the colour on my eyelids. It is a bronzy colour. The Shannon XO palette and... It is this colour right there in the middle. It is so pigmented. That's the colour. It is really pigmented. Look at that pigment. pigment. And that's just from one swipe. These colours from the Shannon XO palette is pigmented. If you're after a new palette, this is a nice cheap palette, which I think is really good. And it comes with a mirror as well, so that's what I love about it. And it's magnetic as well, so it doesn't kind of come open. So that is what I love. So guys, the last favourite of mine is the actual ending to Pretty Little Liars. just watched the Pretty Little Liars today, and it was actually up on Netflix. Watched it on Netflix today, and I absolutely loved that season. I actually cried when it was the last episode. I actually did, and I'm not going to tell you who AD is, uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to tell you who AD is, because I want you to uh, basically find out who it is, if you're a fan of that. But that is my last favourite, it's Pretty Little Lies, and I am like, it's ending now, it's not good. I have to find something else to watch, but yeah, that is what I have been watching, so yeah. So guys, hopefully you do enjoy this favourite, so please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe down below if you'd like to see more content from me in the future, and I'll see you all next time in my next video. Bye guys.